I'm Sarah Bladel. I'm a Danish crime writer, and Copenhagen is the place where all my story take starts. I've been written six novels so far, I'm working on number seven, and I'm looking so much forward to be published in the United States. Oh, she's wonderful, and you know, she has that thing that most crime writers who are very good have, which is she cares about the people she's writing about, and it makes such a difference. I think we can all name probably some authors who think it's fun to write about killing and murder and stuff, and their books aren't as deep or as interesting as people who actually care about the, the people who are being victimized. This is Tivoli, an old romantic garden in the middle of Copenhagen. It was here Susanne Hansen had her very first date with Mr. Prince, a date she wished she was never invited to. This is the center of Copenhagen. My parents has an apartment just around the corner. Often I just sit here and watch people. It's a very good way for me to find characters for my next book. My main character, Louise Rick, could have had her lunch right here. I like to use the surroundings that I know very well because it makes me feel more comfortable when I'm writing. This is one of the bright sides of Copenhagen, but of course there is also a dark side. We are actually at the mortuary, at our autopsy room, where we do the homicide cases. I find a lot of inspiration here, and I have an expert who helps me with all my details. She is very, very anxious to get the right perspective. It has to be totally professional right. And then she asked me, how can this happen? There's another way to work, as I usually do, because uh, when we have a case, we start with many possibilities and hope to aim in one, if one specific things. Sarah gives me a specific things and then I can go the other way and have several possibilities how this might happen. I'm going to do everything I can to help her because she's just a really nice woman and uh, I think it's important for women to support each other, especially in the crime community. 